hello guys, this is urgent video. Um, asking for a help how to get refund in crypto because I just invested two weeks ago and they said it only go up, but it didn't go up. So I'm just asking how to get refund, if you know. Who could have thought? Who could have thought that it's the top? No one could predict that, right? Who is to blame? I tell you something. It's not that I'm like super clever. By the way, you, you see, I only record when the market is red. I'm the king of the red market. I don't care when it's green. So this is the content for me. It's not that I was clever. I was ahead of this. But you see, the difference is my mom still cooked the dinner for me. I have place to sleep. I didn't take the mortgage. I didn't took the savings of my wife to invest in crypto. And you would say it was not obvious because it happened just, just now. It was two days ago. And I tell you here, look, it wasn't two days ago. It wasn't three days ago. It wasn't four days ago. It was already, let me count. It was already, it was two months. Two months ago, or even three months, it, you had two or three months to withdraw your money. And you would be really well placed right now. You had so much time. And you would argue, no. But I'm going to prove you because you see these videos are fact-based. This here, super IQ. It's not like you. So you see, I'm going to YouTube because you see YouTube always help you to spot when the top is, you see, because YouTube still thinks the Cardano is good project. So, and I know you think too, you think too the Cardano is good project because you watch too much YouTube, you know, but, uh, and, and that's why you need my advice. So let's uh, watch this video and this video, like it's a random video, Crypto Bante, you know, there is many channels. It's not that I'm aiming at this channel or anything like this, but you need to understand one thing. World is full of idiots and no matter how rich and wealthy someone is, it doesn't mean they can, they can tell you that um, this is good or bad investment. It doesn't work this way. You know, the market doesn't care who you are, how much you invested. It doesn't matter how much it went or how up, how, how much down it went or how high it went. It doesn't matter. So you see this crypto bantam, he, by the way, he has one of the worst devices ever. So if he ever tells you buy something, don't ever do it. This guy is like the worst predictor ever. He was calling for Akash at seven. There were people. Like, like this guy, Sheldon, he, he, he was mentioning Akash when Akash was at 50 cents, but Crypto Banter was mentioning Akash when Akash at seven. So this guy just don't get anything right. But I want to show you how YouTube is dislocated from reality. You see, let's start here. Um, I, I catch a few points. It's old video because I think this video was the top. You see, two months ago, and you had two months to leave. You didn't leave. So here we are. Uh, there is some discussion. Question to Sheldon. The whole story. How, how you feel? I know you've took a big bit. How you feeling? Man, like honestly, I think the the everything in crypto currency is overvalued, one hundred percent. That right? makes sense. I think most things are overvalued, but it doesn't mean that our investments can't make us money, right? And I, I've made a, a good investment so far. It, it was. This is not about nicely. Sheldon, by the way. So. I'm quite satisfied with that. And like I said, I, I'm not planning on selling anytime soon. It's definitely not a short term. And you should sell. Means. You should uh, sell. Undervalued person. And did <laughs> okay. you hear that? Okay. Did you hear that Jason Spitfire? That's how he looks. His name looked like Jason Chad Naki Kentucky. Surname Spitfire, Spitfire, Monster Man. Undervalued person. This, this is the paid founder, by the way. So this, this guy, this guy, when the markets were basically the projects with two people on board are valued at 2 billion, he thinks it's undervalued. It only shows to you that never invest in the paid, paid network. It's it's a bunch of idiots. And this guy is apparently idiot. So let, let's see. 
Mr. Undervalued, Naki Kentucky. Is it 90 days already? Oh boy. Oh boy. Rough time we have. Sorry. As you know, I'm not prepared. It's improvising here. But boy. This video was somewhere here. Not too bad. Not too bad, right? But oh boy. That was your undervalued. Oh boy, that's all right. For fuck's sake. You see that? I'm bringing the light than the sun outside and I'm all white. So annoying. But oh boy, this, this smile didn't age well. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Charles, <what do> <laughs> I think he's undervalued. <laughs> white teeth. I have yellow teeth. You know, Muri can always have white teeth. How do you do it? I brush my teeth, but they still yellow. I'm actually interested to know, and I'll tell you. And then let, let's let's move let's move forward. Inflation. And the hundred. number of dollars is being printed is crazy, but can we say that inflation is way over a hundred percent, close to a hundred percent? Yes, no. That's thirty. <sighs> man, so man, man. How how stupid it is, bro. Let, let me tell you something. Inflation is not measured in the number of money printed. I understand there is danger of inflation now. It might go up 3% will be problem, 4 5% will be problem, and prices are going up. The inflation is real. But oh boy, how stupid this statement is. You see, the fact that US print dollars doesn't mean the inflation will be there. The reason for that is because when the pandemic started, the demand for the dollars were high, were around the globe. In this country of South Africa, no one wants South African runs. They want US dollars. China started buying dollars. Everyone started buying dollars. And other currencies go down. But when they were printing, the, the US dollar was very strong because of demand. But yeah, there is inflation, but don't say such a stupid things like inflation 100% by token by paid token because inflation no you dumb 30 i mean you print at least 30% 30, 30 of the world's supply least, of us dollars uh, so at about 30 but this is my favorite part is it who is your favorite nft project today coach eternity supergram uh, which one is your favorite? I know, I know you have lots of kids. I know you love them all equally, but you must have one favorite. Of course, Eternity is my favorite. I mean, I helped, I helped bring the team together, bring the crypto people. Eternity Chain. Look at this shit. The video recorded 26 March. Eternity chain 27 march 73 dollars 26 march 66 dollars now eternity is at six if you listen to those people you lost over 90 percent of your value over 90 percent that's how clever youtubers are it's not it didn't happen three days ago they were shilling the shitty coins. Eternity, what the fuck it is? NFTs, no one care about NFTs anymore. No one care. Because they don't solve any real problem that we have at this moment. At least in the form that they are right now. Hey, buy NFTs, collectible, I just draw a fucking giraffe. That's what Eternity Chain apparently is. I'm guessing I never researched this project. I just assume it's shit. How, how could it not be? All NFTs are doing so bad. So let's not pretend that hell, it cannot be predicted. It could be. And, and some of us actually know that we should go away, but we didn't. Maybe because we live with the parents. But don't ever claim something is undervalued when apparently it's not undervalued. You see, when something has 2 billion valuation, 
no product, no earnings whatsoever, no team, no nothing. It's overvalued. There are companies on the market that are valued at 50 million that have the same amount in cash. And you can buy them and they have great technology tech or biotech or other stuff, but they actually work. And you would claim this is is undervalued. It's all good. It's all good. Pump it. Guys, think. Think. Check my channel. I help you to think and you still get these mistakes. How many times I have to say? Don't listen, whether it's Elon, Chamaf Pali Papaya, Crypto Banta, any other YouTuber. Don't listen. Think. Think for yourself. You still might lose money, but at least you talk for yourself, right? Dear fucking Lord. And I'm not saying it's the end. Maybe it's some sort of correction. Maybe not. Because I tell you one thing. And this thing will be truth. No one. Not even me. Can predict the market. I cannot predict how high the crypto go. No one can. Stocks doesn't care what you think. Stocks doesn't care. Stocks, the markets, doesn't care if you think it's a great project. So just obey by those rules. That there is no rules. And there is no refunds. So that was it. I got some new subscribers. I was very happy when I had 10. Now I have 43. The fame coming to me. And, you know, I feel, I feel that maybe we have some time for the bull market, but I feel the years ahead will be, there will be more years of the bear market. And that's when I'll be shining here. Famous on YouTube. Till the next time.